Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this video I'm going to discuss how long it takes to make a game in Unity. Don't forget click on the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's discuss. So, how long does it take to make a game in Unity, or how long does it take to make a game in general? This is a question I get asked quite a lot, uh, and there's never real um, answers that I can give because it's difficult. So there are four main factors that determine how long it takes to make a game. First is budget, the second is the genre, the third is team size, and the fourth is experience. So each of those factors contribute to the length of time it would take to make a game. So to put that into perspective, this right here uh, as some of you probably already know, is a demo that I created in 2019 um, called the Demons Inside. Now, I created this for absolutely nothing. It was completely, it was a zero dollar budget title. I say title, it was just, um, uh, what do you call it? A bit of a something to kind of do and see what you could do in Unity. So I spent zero. The genre is an easy style to make because it is a kind of survival-y, horror -y kind of thing with a first-person view. So it's much easier to develop that sort of game as opposed to something like Grand Theft Auto. Team size, I did this all on my own. Obviously assets have been sourced from different places, from the asset store, from me personally, from various websites commercially free. Uh, and my experience, obviously I've been using Unity for about seven years now, so my experience uh, is quite high with developing in Unity. So again, that contributes. So this entire thing took me 12 weeks to create. And it doesn't look by any means fantastic as opposed to any standards, but it doesn't look like a bog standard Unity game that you see all the time. You, you know, you see more time on Steam Greenlight. Um, obviously because work and effort has gone in, but that comes down to my experience. Obviously, if I'd have had a bigger team doing this, it would have taken a short amount of time. Uh, if I'd have gone for a different genre, maybe a third person style, it would have taken longer. Uh, obviously, if I had no experience whatsoever, it would take even longer to create this style right here. Because when you're brand new to Unity, you wouldn't be able to just jump in and create something like this. Because you just wouldn't know how to. So. What you have to understand as well is how much time you are prepared to invest in development every single day. That is a massive contribution factor. So I am going to assume that you're going to do this for free. On your own, you have some experience of Unity and you're going to create uh, a first person style game like this. So to build something of this size for somebody like that would take a couple of months. So you would go through a process of conception, which is coming up with the idea, the design, i.e. design your levels, design your area, uh, do whatever you need to, uh, create your story, uh, assess what budget and spending you're going to need to create this. Uh, that's obviously something very important. You then need to establish what is your end goal to all of this. Once you've established your end goal, you can then go from your start to your finish on a big piece of A3 paper on your wall or something like that, so you have everything designed. At that point, you can then go into construction, i.e. start creating a level from basic cubes, uh, simple assets, um, probably redesigns um, at some point, because things are probably going to need to be redesigned. Uh, after that, you would start with your scripting, i.e., for example, you saw the UI appear at the beginning, so that's some scripting as well. Uh, if we go over here, we've got some scripting for a trigger right there, and then we've got some more UI. So you'd start creating that scripting as well as the construction of your game. You would then have the sequencing. Now, the sequencing is something that you piece together like a puzzle. So, for example, this first section here, we can't pick up this uh, little candle here unless we've triggered this cobweb. So the sequence would be over to the cobweb, to the candle, back to the cobweb. That is how you create your sequencing. 
Next, we would have a jump scare somewhere, but obviously we can't trigger that jump scare until we've got rid of the cobweb, so that's next in the sequence, uh, and so on and so on and so on. After that, you would start your testing. Testing is going to take you a lot of time because you need to count for every possibility and every error that could occur. Obviously, if you're creating something like this, uh, this one is another game that I created for my patrons. This is known as, it's a Burger Eat Burger World. And all it is is just a simple mobile game uh, playing around, doing whatever. That's really loud. <laughs> Nice. So creating something like this, obviously the testing requires a different style from creating something like this. Uh, the testing for something like this is going to be much more intense because there are so many more things that could go wrong. So the more simplistic the game, the less testing theoretically you would have to do. After that, you would end up with the bug fixing because you're going to end up with bugs no matter what. Every developer has bugs because maybe it's something they've not accounted for, something isn't working correctly, the asset isn't where it should be or whatever. You're going to have bug fixes. Again, the bigger the game, the more bug fixes. Uh, then you're going to end up with your final design after some time of creation. Then you'll end up with your final testing, final bug fixing, and then a release. So, like I said, put into perspective, this took me 12 weeks. This took me, uh, this actually took me a little bit longer. However, I spent considerably less time on it every day as opposed to the demons inside. So once again, it, it's all dependent on the style. If I'd have spent the same amount of time each day on Burger World as I did on the Demons Inside, it probably would have taken me four weeks to make. But again, that comes down to my experience. This was also created on a zero dollar budget. So I'm going to run through a couple of things now and give you a rough estimate. Don't take these as gospel simply because everyone's experience is different, everyone's budget is different, everyone wants to create something different. If you're creating a Grand Theft Auto style game on your own, that is going to take you years, just absolutely years. There is no way on this earth you'd be able to create it in a short amount of time. There are so many factors that could go wrong. There's so many places you need to source assets from, so much designing, so much coding that you would need to create. So that is going to take you absolutely years. If you have a small team, it may take you uh, maybe two years. If you have a large team, maybe a year. But you have to remember how long it takes Rockstar to create a Grand Theft Auto game. It takes a team of hundreds years to make it how it is. So keep that in mind. But it is entirely feasible that you could create it yourself. Never stray away from that fact. It is, well, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it is possible to do it all on your own. Same with something like this. If you wanted to create a survival horror style game, again, on your own, if you're an absolute beginner, it may take you a good year because you need to gain that experience. And obviously you can gain that experience on my channel because we teach everything here, just literally everything. If you want to create a mobile game like this, this requires a little less experience and you could probably put something together like this fairly quickly. So I'm gonna to go to my main menu on this and I'm going to actually turn my volume down because it's going to be loud. I don't want to be deafened and I don't want to deafen you guys. Let's turn it down a little bit. So this consists of 18 levels uh, in three separate worlds. And if you wanted to create something like this, then it's going to be fairly simple. It's, there are a couple of things here which may take a little bit of time away. I would say for one person with a zero dollar budget and a moderate amount of experience to create this style game, it may take them, uh, let's say two, maybe three months with dedication and enough time spent each day. So as you guys can probably understand, it can range from three months to 10 years to make a game in Unity. It all depends on how much time you want to put in. So if you want to create something like a, a Resident Evil clone, like we are doing in one of our series on this channel, 
Um, you could probably look at getting a small Resident Evil style game like this. Let's press play so we can see. Like this together in a reasonable amount of time, probably within six months. Sure, it wouldn't be up to the standard of what Capcom creates, but you can see just how easy it is to create something like this. As long as you're dedicated, it won't take you an insane amount of time to create a game. Obviously, you can create games in a day if you wanted to, but I'm not a fan of creating games quickly. I feel love and care and attention gets left out if that were to happen. So let's take one more example. If you want to make something like a Call of Duty game, uh, I would say that's not going to take you a massive amount of time. You're creating a first-person shooter. That's easier to make because the mechanics of that are very simple. You can put together, even a beginner can put together a first-person shooter template probably within a week. And then you can use that template, modify it, advance it. So, conclusion. How long does it take to make a game in Unity? As long as you're prepared to put the experience in, as long as you're prepared to do whatever you need to do, if you need to get a team, as long as you're happy to do that, and as long as you invest the right amount of time, you can make any game in a considerable amount of time. So I would say, look at creating a game within a year. If you can, you can probably create most games by yourself as long as you're prepared to get that experience within a year. So a year from now, I expect you guys to shove me loads of games in my face. Really, really nice ones. I mean, you can also get some indication of what other developers are doing, how long it takes them to create games. If you go somewhere like Ichio or Game Jolt, there's uh, plenty of developers there, and you could probably ask them questions how long it took them to make their game. So yeah, I don't think it will take anybody that long to make any style of game. And I give you a challenge. If you want to try and create something like the demons inside, I would challenge anyone to try and recreate this entire demo, this entire demo in six months. And if you can do that, I have a little prize, okay? If someone can recreate the demons inside within six months, the first person to do so will get a prize, okay? That is your challenge, guys. So I know it's probably not what some of you guys want to hear. You guys probably want to hear it will take you X amount of time to make a game. Unfortunately, it is not that simple. It's not black and white. It's all dependent on you. So guys, just put that experience in. Be prepared. Be in it for the long haul if you need to be. But if you feel you can do it, you can do it. It's as simple as that. So guys, I hope that's helped. Um, don't forget, click subscribe, like I say, bell icon. Uh, you can see loads of videos on how to make all this kind of stuff, and it's really awesome. Guys, thanks very much for watching.